Hey, this is Randy Belker. Welcome to Technophobics Anonymous. Today we're going to be looking at um, some of the browsers. Now these are the software programs that are going to be sitting on your computer that you need in order to access the internet. Um, <clears throat> there's three primary browsers. There's Internet Explorer, which is the most popular one. It's made by Microsoft. They give it out for free on the computer, so it's almost guaranteed that you already have that and you already have it on your computer. Um, so we'll be talking a little bit about that one. Um, it's also the least stable. Uh, it is also the one that will crash the most. It is also the one uh, which is the least um, able to be configured to do what you want to do, and it's the one that most hackers um, or people with viruses attack. So it has some loopholes. Um, now it. it it's, it's a browser that functions and functions well, uh, don't get me wrong, it, it is not one that I would recommend that, that uh, you would be using or continue using for very long. The second browser is uh, Firefox, and uh, this one is very um, stable, uh, it's very, you can configure it how you want to, uh, and it's, it is very safe. Uh, we'll be looking at that a little bit more uh, in advanced classes um, when you are becoming a power user, um, but I'll, I'll give you a little introduction to it today as well. The third program is Google Chrome. just came out a little while ago. It's very stable. It's very fast. Uh, it's very safe, um, and it's very simple. And so that's the one that I'm going to be getting you up to speed on how to use. Um, all right, let's go uh, take a look at what these look like. <clears throat> on the internet, excuse me, on your desktop here, um, <clears throat> you can see up in the uh, corner I have three different uh, icons. This top icon here is, uh, is an E, it's a blue E here, and I'm kind of circling it with my, um, with my pointer. Um, this is Internet Explorer. Uh, this one underneath it is Firefox. It's got a little orange fox on it. Looks like a fox around the world. And the one underneath it is Google Chrome. Uh, it's got a round button here with red, green, and yellow on it. Um, now, I've already installed these on my computer, and uh, in all three of them basically do the same thing. They allow your computer to go out and look at other people's computers. Right? Now, I've already opened up these, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, give, you an, give you an idea of what they look like. Uh, this right here is um, Firefox. Mozilla Firefox, and behind it I have my email program set up in here, um, randybelker at gmail.com. Um, but you can see at the top all the different options that you have. Um, you can see uh, your back button if you want to go back a page up here. Um, but there's quite a, few, quite a lot of different things that you can do with um, Firefox. The, this is the one right here. Um, this is Internet Explorer. Again, I have the same program open, Gmail, so you can take a look at uh, how, they, how they are comparable. And it's the same thing. You have different options up in the top of things you want to do. Um, there's a back button. Uh, it's very similar to Firefox. And different options of things that you can do when you're out on the Internet looking around and surfing. Uh, the third one is... Um, the third one is... Uh, <clears throat> Google Chrome. Right. This, is, this is called Chrome. You can see this one looks a little bit different than the other two. Uh, there are less options, less things for you to do, and it ha again it has the same uh, my Gmail that's, that's opened up here. Um, and here at the top you have your back button, your forward button, and you have your uh, command line, um, what your, where you want to go on the internet. Uh, so basically, this is just a, an introduction to uh, the three uh, browsers. Uh, again, Internet Explorer is the most popular uh, browser at the moment, but it's the one that I would recommend the least. Uh, what I would recommend is for you to, to get into Internet Explorer, and you would go and you would search for Google Chrome. Right? Once, you, once you find Google Chrome on the Internet, you're going to download that, and that's the one then that would become your default browser from then on, so you'd be able to use uh, Google Chrome. Uh, but we'll talk about that a little bit uh, next time.
Thanks for watching.